going to be epic. It's going to be very different than season two. I think as different from two as two was from one. Um, the theme of the season is what does it mean to be human? Um, obviously, the AI story is going to play in that, you know, I think at its most basic level. Um, but all the characters are sort of in one way or another experiencing kind of a post-traumatic stress of the life that they've lived since they landed and Eliza Clark in particular is broken and, and inhuman in many ways and sort of denying you know everything that she's done and she's on this walkabout and she's you know, not processed it yet and so you know will she be able to become a human being again is really one of the things that we'll see with her in uh, season three. Will there be any flashbacks that go further back than we've seen, such as um, maybe like 97 years back? <laughs> maybe. I definitely think we're going to tell uh, the story of what happened. So whether that's through flashbacks or through people talking about it, uh, we'll understand the, you know, the way it happened. I mean, obviously, it's a lot easier to pay for dialogue than it is to pay for like going back to the apocalypse and being in space again but I would love to be able to do that so um, you never know so as the parents are here and they're starting to jockey for control with the young people yeah. who's going to win in the third season of the years um, yeah it's, you know what for me anyway it's kind of not become about the hundred versus the grown ups anymore it's more about your people you know they're all sky people and they have to uh, I think it'll be difficult for some of them to some of the hundred to sort of reincorporate into a society that has leaders that they have to follow um, because it won't be them. I mean, they're still, ki you know, they're not kids, but they're certainly not like chancellor ready um, and there will be a chancellor. So um, that'll be interesting to see for sure. It, it, the show has always been about sort of what will you do to keep to survive and, and to allow your people to survive and um I think last season obviously dealt with that in a really explicit way, and this season we'll see what the definition of one's people, how the definition of one's people changes. What's the state of the relationship between the sky people and the grounders? And we've heard a lot of talk of other clans, other yeah. clans. Is that something you'll explore in season Yes, for sure. I mean, for me, the season is there's two huge stories we're telling. One is this AI thing, and the other is the continuing sort of grounder sky people conflict and... and through that story, we definitely build out the universe. We'll understand the clans. People who we've mentioned before will meet. Um, we'll understand the politics of the situation, what happened before, how they came together into a coalition under Lexa, and what happens, you know, potentially when it sort of all goes boom. Um, and then the, a sto the other story, the AI story, will eventually impact that in a really serious way. And really, then it's all crazy. Er. Would you ever consider doing a flashback within the Grounder Society versus... Sure. I would totally do that. I mean, I feel like we have certain... It's hard to imagine doing flashbacks with characters that aren't our main characters, but and by that I mean series regulars. But I would certainly do it. I wouldn't rule it out for sure. Because there's a lot of rich backstory that I think people are interested in. I know I am.